The aviation sector in Nigeria is staring down at another crisis as jet fuel prices soar due to shortage in Nigeria, Africa's largest oil producer. Some domestic airlines have now cancelled their flights while others are doubling their rates. We have a chat with the executives in the aviation industry. This is what they had to say. I think it's a global issue. Uh, I don't think Nigeria is the only country that is having foil issues. In fact, we're even better off compared to so many countries. But again, that's not a good excuse because uh, if, our, if we have our refineries actually working, I think I will not be in this bad position as a country. I could remember clearly being a member of the National Carrier Committee. The then GMD of NMPC told the committee that Kaduna and Wari refinery alone, if or when serviceable or when operational, can provide Jet A1 then at about 50 Naira per liter, aviation force, that we are buying now for about 700 Naira. So if you have a country where you have the refinery and you have the crude, we shouldn't go through all this. It's a systemic problem. Uh, aviation is not isolated with the current happening. You can see what is happening in far Eastern Europe with Ukraine and Russia directly and directly is affecting us. Now that the country ought to be cashing out in the sales of crude oil now, our production is low. And even if we make anything out of it, we still return back all of this money in Forex in buying this product because they take the crude from here, refine it, and sell back the jet A fuel to us. So we're really not saving anything. So this crisis is not really benefiting us in any way, neither is it benefiting anybody. Uh, so, and this has just only exposed our uh, weaknesses, our deficiencies, and uh, the little challenges we have uh, within. The strike is not because the airline operators want to go on strike. It's because they cannot continue to fly. They cannot fly. It's not about strike. They cannot fly. There's no fuel. There's no jet A1. Here's how it has affected the free flow of operations. Very unfortunate. An average flight ticket is about 50,000. And I sympathize with the flying public. But I tell you, for the records, if the airlines are going to sell tickets the way they buy the jet fuel, the cheapest ticket will be around 150,000 naira. But again, you're taking away the purchasing power of the flying public. You're selling 23, 50,000 naira, 23,000, 35,000, and still here people complain. 50,000, you could see that the turnout is very low. An airplane that has 150 seats will hardly sell probably 50 seats. And so these are part of the challenge. So it's a more of a systemic problem, which aviation is not isolated in the entire country. Forex is very difficult. Take your money to CBN, you don't get Forex. And uh, aviation is dollarized. And sometimes you offer services, they want to pay you Naira. To the least crew you buy to fix your airplane, to the fuel you buy, everything you buy in dollars. But you sell your ticket in Naira. And so why do you go change money? And CBN is not readily available to give you this Forex to do your business. So it's crazy. We travel and uh, we fly around, you know, and uh, I mean, a ticket that uh, we used to purchase, I mean, like 25, 27,000 Naira to go to Abuja. Now we have to pay like 60,000, 65,000. You know, it is crazy. I mean, we cannot, we cannot continue like this. Is there coming back from this or is this the new normal? It's, it's, it's a yes and a no. I, I don't see it coming down because I do not see the cost of oil coming down uh, like it is expected. When you were buying ticket for, let's say, 23,000, 25, 30,000, and sometimes 35, the cost of oil was 190 per liter to 220, depending on the location. So if you buy ticket at 23 or 35,000 when it was uh, 210, and now the, the same fuel is over 600, how much do you expect me to sell the ticket? So normally in Nigeria, when something goes up, it doesn't come down. But you see, it's because of leadership. With time, if we begin to elect and we have the right leaders, trust me, things will fall in place. All Nigerians want is somebody up there who is transparent, honest, you know, equity, justice, fairness. And I can assure you that from up, if everything is okay, everybody will actually follow suit. Most of the operators, you know, used to fill up their airplanes, 
But now you get on board, you only see like 20 people, 30 people with so many empty seats. So how are they going to recover? They can't even break even with that. So this, I mean, if this continues, you know, for some time to come, a lot of airlines will have to pack up. And of course, here is what needs to be done. The opportunity is to encourage our local refineries to provide JT1. People should buy flight ticket for 15, 20,000 naira maximum. If, and we have the crude, we can do it, right? And that will boost commerce. That will boost all the industries. If our air industry is well supported, trust me, we will achieve more in the general economy, not just in the aviation sector alone. Because sometimes the aviation sector is not there to make money per se. It's there to link states together. It's there to link businesses together. And if it's coming at an affordable cost, then there will be a boom, which is what we are hoping you know, should happen soon.